let's take a look at some of the common general sources you will encounter as you research. We'll start with encyclopedia type sources, which are intended for a general audience. This type of information may be found in a library database or actual encyclopedia, in a textbook, on Wikipedia or something similar, or on a scientific, government, or educational website. The type of information is generally widely accepted factual information, and the purpose is to educate those who are new to the topic. These are not usually sources you quote or cite in an assignment, because although the information may be new to you, it is considered common knowledge by those who have studied the topic. This type of general source provides you with useful background knowledge to broaden your understanding of the topic. Next, let's consider news sources. No matter what format they are in, news sources are usually intended for the general public. Typically, a news source is going to convey the most current information known at that time. So as a researcher, the date a news source was published will be very important to you. News sources may vary in the type of information provided. Most will probably be straightforward, factual information. But you may also encounter more persuasive or argumentative information from a news source, depending on the author's objective. Traditional print newspapers and now online news websites usually have different sections organized loosely around the type of information in the articles. Front page or home page stories tend to be breaking news. Topical sections might focus on politics or health or science. And there are usually opinion, editorial, or other commentary sections. These are less about communicating the facts of the news and more about offering perspective, opinion, or insights on the news. It can sometimes be difficult to distinguish between fact-based news and opinions on the news. You should be sure to check what section the article appears in and read the article carefully, looking for clues that this may be a specific point of view rather than a reporting of facts. The same is true of news in other media. Thinking back to our questions, ask yourself, what is the purpose of this reporting? Consider the tone of voice, the words and phrases selected to describe the situation, and whether or not it seems like you are receiving all of the facts or only selected details. A type of source related to news but slightly different is what we're going to refer to as a magazine source. This term traditionally refers to published glossy print magazines, but we'll also use this term for online sources that provide analysis of current events and commentary on social issues. Magazines are also considered general sources. They are primarily intended for the general public, although you may come across specialized ones whose intended audience is people with a professional interest and more experience with a subject. These are discussed further in the video about academic sources. The type of information in magazine articles varies from informative to entertaining to persuasive, but generally speaking, these articles go into more depth and detail than news articles. They tend to give more context around the issue, describing what has happened previously and maybe anticipating what is going to happen in the future. Most magazine articles are longer than news articles because of the additional context and commentary provided. The purpose of a magazine article will also vary. It may try to present both sides of a controversial issue, suggest reasons why one perspective is more valid than another, or flat out attempt to persuade the reader to think or feel a certain way about the issue. You should pay particular attention to the type of information offered and how that information is presented in order to make a determination on the source's purpose. These are three of the most common general sources you will encounter as you research. A good strategy for approaching your research is to start with general sources that will help you understand your topic and begin to develop an answer to your research question. You will then be prepared to move on to more academic sources that dive into the details, theories, and research that will help support your thesis.